Welcome. Welcome to Film Facts. And today, we're going to explore the philosophy of play. Games have been a part of human culture for thousands of years. And over time, they have evolved into a complex and diverse array of experiences. From ancient war games like Go and Chess to modern video games like GTA, Minecraft, etc., games have played an important role in shaping our understanding of the world and ourselves. Philosophy, the study of fundamental questions about experience or about existence, values, knowledge, and reality, has also played a critical role in shaping our understanding of games. Many philosophers have explored the nature of games and their significance for human experience. And their idea, ideas continue to influence how we think about games today. One of the most influential philosophers, or one of the most influential philosophical perspectives of, on games is the concept of play. In the early 20th century, philosopher Jean Jonah Huizinga argued that playing is, play is a fundamental aspect of human culture and that games are a key expression of this play. He suggested that games are important because they create a space for players to explore different ways of being in the world, to experiment with different rules and roles, and engage in creative expression. According to Huizinga, play is a voluntary act activity that involves a temporary suspension of ordinary reality and the creation of a magic circle or a play space that is distant from everyday life. This play space is governed by its own rules, which are often arbitrary and agreed upon by the players and it provides a space for experimentation, creativity, and exploitation. Games, for his Inga, are a form of play that is more structured and rule-bound than other forms of play, and they have their own specific goal and outcomes. Huizinga argued that games are important because they provide a space for players to explore different ways of being in the world, experiment with different rules and roles, and engaging in creative expression. He saw games as, as a form of culture that reflected the values and ideas of, of the society in which they were played. Building off of Huizinga's idea, philosopher Bernard, Bernard Suites developed the concept of illusory attitude which refers to the mindset of a player who willingly enters into a game and accepts the rules, accepts rules and limitations. Sweets argued that games are valuable precisely because they are they are voluntarily and involve the acceptance of arbitrary rules, and that playing a game requires a unique form of human creativity. The illusory act attitude is different from the instrumental attitude that we often adapt in everyday life. When we engage in instrumental activity, we do so in order to achieve some external goal or objective. For example, we may work in order to earn money or exercise in order to stay healthy, but when we adapt the luxury attitude, we do so for its own sake. We play games simply because we enjoy them and we find value in the act of playing itself. More recently, philosopher Ian Bogost has explored the idea of games as procedural re rhetor rhetoric, procedural rhetoric, suggesting that games can be seen as systems of roles and procedures that make arguments about the world. According to Bogost, Games are a unique form of expression that can make persuasive statements about politics, ethics, and culture throughout or through the act of play itself. At its core, procedural rhythmic 
is about using the rules and systems of a game to communicate a message or argument. The rules of a game are not neutral or arbitrary, but rather reflective, reflect a particular set of values or beliefs. By playing a game, the player is for forced to interact with these rules and systems, and in doing so, they come into come to understanding the coming. So they come to understand and internalize the underlying message or argument. The philosophical perspectives discussed above have a profound impact on our understanding of games and their significance. Let's dive deeper into some ways in which we they have shaped our thinking about games. Firstly, these perspectives have helped us see games as more than just vigorously vigorous entertainment by emphasizing the importance of play and the role of games in human culture. They have helped us recognize the many different ways in which games can enrich our lives. Games are no longer seen as trivial pastime, but as a valuable and meaningful part of our culture, culture's heritage. Part of culture's heritage. Secondly, these perspectives have helped us appreciate the unique form of creativity that games require. By accepting the limitations and rules of a game, players are forced to use their imaginations and problem-solving skills in order to navigate and succeed within the game. This unique this form of creativity is distant from the creativity required in other forms of art or media and, it, and is a unique and volume, valuable contribution to human culture. Thirdly, these perspectives have highlighted the ways in which games can be used to make persuasive arguments about important issues by using the rules and systems of a game to convey a message or argument. Designers can create immersive and engaging experiences that allow players to better understand complex social and political issues. This can lead to a deeper understanding and empathy for others and can be a powerful tool for promoting positive change in society. In conclusion, philosophers have played a critical role in shaping our understandings of games and their significance by exploring the nature of play, the luxury attitude, and procedural arithmetic. Philosophers have helped us use games as more as much more than mere entertainment. Games are now seen as a fundamental aspect of human culture, a valuable and meaningful part of our culture heritage. Philosophers have shown us that games are not only an enjoyable pastime, but also play a vital role in the development of human beings. Through play, we learn essential skills such as problem solving, social interactions, and emotional regulation. These skills are these skills are essential essential for our personal growth and development. As games continue to grow and build popularity, philosophy will likely continue to shape our understandings of this fascinating and evolving topic. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I feel like I hope I don't like speed through this. Like I hope it was good and more understandable. I'm trying to work on. My reading ability. That's kind of what this is for. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.